Hey y'all, so today we're at Cherishville. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Shy in Second Life, and on this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life, and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So y'all, this is another place that I've had in my landmarks for quite some time. I said I need to go ahead and check this place out because it is autumn thing. Oh look, it's a little kitty. And Second Life is definitely gearing up for Christmas now. I came across two lands already that are um, winter themed. And let me tell you, uh, y'all please don't piss me off this year please don't piss me off this year for christmas because this arrangement is super cute winter needs to consist of more than just a land full of snow it literally was nothing but snow it was like just a big field of snow side note y'all i love a good um vintage car this car is so nice. I'm going to take a peek on the inside and it is. And it is. This whole land has a nice um, vintage feel to it. I'm all up. And look how cute this is. Oh, the level of detail. We love a good, nice level of detail. So, went to the land. This looks like a little cuddle spot. Went to the land and it was snow. Okay, I get it. It's winter themed. We we get it. We get that. However, it should be it should be a little bit more than that. It's like, okay, I know maybe maybe they weren't done, you know, perhaps perhaps they weren't done. And so that's why that was what was going on, but I was not I was not pleasantly surprised. I was rather taken aback by um just the sheer lack of creativity i'm not used to that in second life and i think that's why i was so like what the hell because they don't normally do that in second life you know they normally be on the up and up i know they say don't walk in the house with your umbrella but i'm not about to take this umbrella off okay i'm not about to do it because i'm about to be right back outside so they're gonna be okay so yeah i'm like i don't like that i don't like that at all so i'm glad that i had like landmarks that i still could look at with you guys as opposed to like having to find like a bunch of new ones because yeah that was a no for me i'm still very much so looking for um christmas land so that i could start you know piling up like stockpiling my content for um block talk what's going on with this cat do I not have my level of detail up enough? Perhaps, perhaps that, that cat was looking, was looking some type of way. Y'all, so very, 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 very sad note. I, I am a horror movie enthusiast and I recently checked out um, two movies. Well, one was horror and one was more, one more um, had more like a thriller feel to it, if you will. So the first movie that I saw was Smile 2. Now I saw the first Smile and I really did like it. You know, everybody is gonna have like their opinions on movies and stuff like that. Um, but I really did like um, the first Smile. So when I saw, when I found that I could see like the second Smile, I'm like, okay, we can, we can, we can do this. Um, I didn't know what I was going, what it was what i was gonna expect or what there was to expect well i'm getting tongue tied i don't know it's a lot to look at i'm trying to figure out what to look at i know like with movies like smile once you kind of understand the premise of it it's like okay you coming out with a part two we know that the premise is going to be the same but it's like how are you going to make this interesting with that same premise y'all they did it for me they did it for me. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I did feel like the stakes were much higher this time. When I tell you, we was we was Delulu all the way through. Through I once they got to the end, I said, "Oh hell no!" Okay, wait a minute. What was real? What was not? They threw they threw even I for a loop. So I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed um, the movie as a whole. Wait a minute, can we go in here? 
I said, wait a minute. It was it was a door. I thoroughly enjoyed that movie all the way through. Not gonna do no spoilers, you know, because I know there are still people. Oh, it's cute in here. There's still some people that probably are going to see the movie. I would recommend it. I definitely would recommend it. It was a nice movie. You know, it's not often that a movie moves me, especially with horror movies. I don't know what people's deal is, but everybody kind of just does like the same type of horror movies. And for me, I don't really like horror movies that are just like out for the gore of it. I do like um, horror movies that have more of a um, intriguing, you know, feel to it where it's not just like, oh, he's just going around offing everybody like I don't like movies like that I like movies with like a nice premise and this movie definitely had had that look how nice this cabinet is now the movie did run a bit long but it was entertaining so that's always okay um it kept me intrigued all the way through I didn't really realize how much time had passed until the movie was over with and I was like oh damn this movie's been on for a nice little amount of time, but it was a really good movie. So then the second movie that I saw was The Substance. Now, Demi Moore and Dennis Quaid, they're gonna get my watch just about every single time. Much like when I see a movie that Denzel Washington is in, because Denzel don't take no, he don't take no bad movie roles, I'm gonna tell you that. I may not have seen his whole catalog, I love this fountain, but I've never watched a Denzel Washington movie where I was like, uh-uh, that was trash. I'm going to pan in here because this is a bakery. And I fear that if I do not, I'm we're going to be in here for like 30 minutes because it's a lot of cute little goodies up in here. So The Substance, was it a good movie? To me, yes. Um, Towards the end, it got a little what the hell. And for me, I don't really like my horror movies to give like what the hell the way that movie gave what the hell. But um, it had a good message. I feel like if you're if you are one of those people that have a little difficulty kind of separating what's going on with the movie from like getting the message, then it may be lost on you. However, it's still a good watch in my opinion. It's very different from what I expected. Um, when I realized like what the premise of the movie was, I wasn't really surprised how things went, but the way that they played out, I was surprised how things played out. Towards the end, it was very um, different not gonna do any spoiler spoiler alerts but it was not a bad movie and it was one of those movies movies where i would not be surprised if shit like this went on right now and so that's really when i realized that the type of horror movies that i do like well i've known it before but that movie kind of really cemented things for me i like realistic horror movies like yeah this could possibly happen in real life i could see this going on and i could see why this would be appealing to somebody in um real life so in that aspect i really did enjoy the movie but towards the end it just got uh, it got real like what the hell so those were the two movies that I recently saw and I did really enjoy them. So this land, it is really cute for like couples. Anybody can come here. You know, I always like to, to use, I like to say that so that people never like watch the videos and they're just like, oh, well, you know, it, it, she said that, you know, it's best for like couples and stuff like that. Anybody can go, but I do feel like every time I go to these lands, I always think about like pictures and stuff like that because I know, you know, people love to take pictures in second life as do i so this would be a really nice like couples picture place and stuff like that um it's really it has a really like cute first date aspect to it it's very like cute and cozy and walking in the rain so the first time that i came here it was raining and it's raining again so the outside sitting spaces i don't know maybe it's not always raining or um, maybe this is just like a fall thing i don't know but the land is beautiful so with this land this land is a very prime example of 
just because it's a season it doesn't have to like overtake so like this is fall lots of leaves but there are a lot of other things going on you know you got the rain but you also have like nice um spaces that you can look at and go to and and kind of like explore and things like that so it's not raining on this side we gonna keep the umbrella up because because i don't know if the rain coming back because it's raining over here and i like this these winter sams i you know last winter i'm not gonna trip too much because last winter i found some fabulous fabulous winter places that i was able to explore i am noticing like a lot of the winter um lands that i had seen last year are coming back this year can i go in here is there something here nope just an empty church I noticed that they are coming back. I'm I don't think I'm going to revisit them simply because um I don't know. A couple of them I have seen with you guys, so I don't feel like we need to reminisce. Um I'm just kind of waiting. I'm really like trying to stockpile a lot of winter content so that much like vlogtober i can get um ahead of the game when it comes to recording and stuff like that because when i tell you when i tell you vlogtober was nice i had such a ease when it came to um recording and i know that that was because i pre not well yeah i, I pre-recorded a lot of stuff like i had things kind of just like stockpile videos that I was able to bring to you guys and so when I got to a space where I was kind of falling behind it didn't really feel like I was falling behind because it was like okay well you can do the video and still get it up in a timely fashion even if you do it like early that day of like if you want to do the movie at like midnight and it needs to go up like that afternoon you still have time to like do it and get it up before with april diamonds that was very much so not the case how do i get to this house i was really really late like missing days things were happening with like the editing and stuff like with the uploading and stuff like that and it was just like it was a pain but i was behind it was one of those last minute things oh you guys the heat's coming on you know i didn't do my heat disclaimer because i didn't know if the heat was coming on or not it's pretty it was pretty warm it was like 68 a couple hours ago it's 3 29 a.m right now and I, I fell asleep earlier you know it happens so um that is always the reason for me like being up hella late so it is 3 29 i ain't really tripping 3 29 a.m you know hey it is what it is i really like this bed i love beds like this with just that real like it has such a nice feminine flow to it that i really love normally with these lands i can kind of like gauge the time period this one not so much it definitely has like a vintage feel to it but i don't know if it's like early 1900s or if we're like in the 18s i'm gonna say like the early 1900s because of the cars and stuff like that because the houses are not they're not helping me it's not helping me at all not at all so you know sometimes you got to just figure it out sometimes they will have like mixed periods going on like that but you know it's all ew what the hell are they moving uh-uh we don't like that uh-uh we do not like that yeah i was looking at a um a squirrel outside earlier and i was like they are literally they are literally fluffy rats and people are like oh they're so cute they're 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 rodents they are rodents you ever seen one wet yeah rodent they're fluffy rats and it's so crazy because i really didn't really put two and two together like i should have quicker and i'm just like ew the same thing for chipmunks so squirrels are like fluffy rats and chipmunks are fluffy mice they're rodents i don't give a damn how adorable they are i don't i don't care they're rodents and they look gross especially when they are wet squirrels are adorable chipmunks are adorable but they they look they look like who they really are it's like they're wearing a mask when they are wet they look like who they really are this doggy is so adorable 
Look at this. It's so pretty. Now, I am going to miss fall. I am going to miss fall, y'all. I really, truly am because they really did their big one with fall. Um, Vlogtober, just ugh, when I tell you, I'm so happy that I did it the way that I did it with like mixing the fall with the Halloween because we really got to explore like a little bit of everything and I really loved that for us. I really did. Y'all know I was watching a um not watching I said I saw a post on Facebook and somebody said what is something that you didn't know was like a backhanded compliment and somebody said when you say um I love that for you and I was like what and so when I was reading the comments, it kind of clarified like what I was thinking. What is I think it, it depends on the context. Like it absolutely depends on the context, because if somebody's like, oh, you know, um, I just got this new job, and it's like, oh, I love that for you. I don't, I don't. Would people take it as like, oh, I love that. That's the job that you have, but I wouldn't want that job, because that's not how I would take it. I would take it like it's another way to say like I'm happy for you. I don't know, but I felt I felt some type of way about that because I do say that to people and much like the people in the comments they're like, "Well, I wasn't trying to like offend anybody or anything like that." And um you know, it just kind of makes you think of things a little differently. Is this something in this barn? No, it's empty. This would be a nice house though. So, you know, you just really never know when you might be saying something that could possibly offend somebody. But, you know, as time goes on, languages are going to evolve much like people do. So it's one of those things where it's like, listen, not saying it coming from a malicious space. But I think that some people will say things coming from a malicious space. And people are really critical about things like that. But in the end, I do feel like the tone really will help people understand like where you're coming from. Especially if... It's people say things that normally have like a negative connotation to it life is way too short for people to be going around trying to find ways to offend people so people really need to do better so that you can say something to somebody like i love that for you and then not be taken in a negative manner because when i say it i never ever mean it in a negative manner it's another way for me to say i'm happy for you